Right now, we are seeing drought conditions across East Tennessee. We saw them worsen week to week this week. It includes the southern plateau especially. Meteorologist Cassie Nall joins us with some perspective on the temperatures and what's contributing to the drought and when we'll see some improvement. That's right, John. Let's first talk about the setup, how we got here. Well, we got here by having what has been tied for the second warmest first half of the month of July on record. We've had 15 days with highs in the 90s and today is only the 19th. So that gives you some reference on just how warm it's been with a couple of those days reaching 97 degrees and even 98 degrees on the 14th. So we're running way ahead of schedule when it comes to our 90 degree days. We've had 29 so far this year. We typically would only have about 16 by now. In fact, we average about 34 to 37 each year and August typically has almost as many as July does. So that just gives you some perspective on just how warm the summer has been so far. And it's also been extremely dry too. look at that almost completely dry for the first two weeks of the month of July. That was the driest first half of the month of July on record at the McGee Tyson Airport. Thankfully, we have seen the pattern change, but this very latest drought monitor that came off yesterday cut off before the rain moved in on Tuesday. So this hopefully will be the worst drought monitor that we're going to get from here. We should start to see some improvement. We have that level two moderate drought on almost our entire viewing area and that level three severe drought, as John was saying, on the plateau and down into the Southern Valley. The other part of the story, besides the fact that July is typically our wettest month of the year, is how quickly this drought arrived. That is called rapid onset drought. And look at this. Just a month ago, we only had a teeny tiny sliver of abnormally dry conditions compared to now when we now have that severe drought that's so widespread across our area. As I said, the good news, we've got more rain on the way. In fact, for the next seven days, overall totals could be as high as two to three inches, which would be great news. I'll have more details about the timing of that rain and a look at your seven day forecast coming up.